Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. We spent some time in Rome, Italy, and we want to share some mistakes with you. So the first mistake in Rome that you could make is not preparing for your arrival, for having a plan to get from the airport to your hotel or whatever it is that you're staying. It can be kind of confusing, kind of complicated, the options, and there's a lot of opportunity for you to get scammed or ripped off. Uh, so there's a, there's a little bit of a debate within whether your taxi fare is within or outside the city walls, and the taxi drivers can claim that it's not, and it is and try to charge you a different rate. So to avoid all of that, um, we just hired a car service beforehand, paid for it online, and they just picked us up right at the airport, waiting for us in the baggage claim with uh, with our name on the sign, and they just, it was already paid for, so there was no haggling or anything, mm -hmm. and that just took us right to our uh, hotel. So we would recommend doing that if, mm -hmm. if you want to avoid trying to deal with the, the cabs when you yeah. get there. Absolutely. That was a great service to use. Um, another one uh, in speaking of transportation is once you get into the city, using the hop on hop off bus to get around from attraction to attraction is probably one of the best ways to get around. Yeah, yeah. It's, uh, it takes you to every major attraction, gets there pretty quickly and mm -hmm. drops you off closer than you might be able to get with another mode of transportation mm -hmm. like the subway or the metro. So. If you have a short amount of time in Rome and you want to maximize it, using that bus can be mm -hmm. can be good. Just make sure you know the route and which way you're going and where you want to get off. Exactly. And you'll be good. Yep. And always take note of where you have to go to get back on the bus. So yeah. Once you've hopped off, sometimes you're not getting picked up at the same location. Sometimes they may be across the street. So make sure you pay attention to where the, uh, people are getting back on the bus. So another mistake you can make is not getting a SIM card in Rome. They are very uh, easy to get, they're very cheap, mm -hmm. and it's gonna really help you get around the city. Having Google Maps on your phone is mm -hmm. really a blessing, especially in Rome. <laughs> um, so all you need to do is bring an unlocked phone, mm -hmm. go to a Vodafone or some store like that, buy a card, pop it in, and you're good to go. Mm -hmm. And you do not need to do this at the airport. It is gonna cost you a lot more if you do it at the airport. So wait until you get near your hotel, ask the attendant at the hotel where there's a cell store that you can get a SIM card nearby. It should really be very difficult and it's a lot cheaper than an international plan. Yeah. Another uh, mistake people make is trying to do too much in one trip, mm -hmm. not realizing that Rome is probably the busiest city uh, that we've ever been to. We've been to a lot of cities. The lines are enormously long. Yes. And we were there in October, so it wasn't even high season. Mm -hmm. um, it's just jam-packed with people. It's going to take longer than you think. You're going to have to walk further than you think. And it's just you're not going to do as much as you think you are if it's your first time there. So mm -hmm. don't plan too much for one day or one trip. Or give yourself extra days built mm -hmm. in to see stuff that you didn't make it to. Yes. Um, another thing is... Uh, we have Italian food in the United States. It's absolutely nothing like real Italian food. Um, so menus on restaurants, sometimes they'll have like a, tour, a tourist type menu where they'll have the items that you're used to having at home, like chicken alfredo or like chicken parmesan. No one really eats that <laughs> in Italy. So um, you're gonna want to have real Italian food and real Italian pizza. Mm -hmm. It's completely different than what you're used to in the United States. Um, it's completely worth having and you'll fall in love with Italian food all over again on a completely different level um, because it's unbelievable. So do not miss out on the real Italian food. I tried asking the cab driver where the closest pizza hut was and he got <laughs> he got a good chuckle out of that. Uh, so and he, gave me, he gave me like a 10 minute lecture on the best pizza in Italy. So you can try that and uh, see what they say. <laughs> Uh, another thing is only visiting tourist hotspots. So don't just go to, you know, the, the top five places. Yeah, you want to go see those, but don't spend all of your time there. Allow some time for some neat little places to spot, to stop along the way. Because there's this is an old city 
with so much history in it um, in for so that means so much in so many different aspects not just for history but religiously and um, just politically uh, so just leave yourself open to being able to see a lot of different other things than just those big touristy things yeah another one is to be prepared for mm. the massive amount of people you're gonna see at the Vatican oh and how far you're gonna have to walk a lot of people don't know it is a long long walk to get to the Sistine Chapel. Such a Chapel. long walk. <laughs> it is, I mean, from the time you start walking, you're probably going to be walking like an hour mm -hmm. to get to the Sistine Chapel from... And we were walking very quickly, From too. the drop-off point. From wherever you're going to get off on your transportation, mm -hmm. it's going to take you an mm -hmm. hour. If we went straight to the Sistine Chapel, it was about an hour to get there. Yeah. Um, all walking, up and down stairs. So it is not... Don't think it's going to be this easy... Oh, we'll pop in and see it, and then we'll pop back out. Not gonna happen. Dedicate some time to it for sure. Yeah. <laughs> um, next one is when you're you're probably gonna hop onto some regional trains as well. Um, and this is a mistake really for all of Italy is make sure that you validate your ticket when you get on so that you do not get fined once you are on the train. The attendants do come through very often and they will most definitely check your ticket. So make sure you'll see the little machine and just watch for the people. You'll see them going up to the machine and putting their tickets in. You're going to want to make sure that you do that before you get onto the regional trains if you're going to other parts of Rome. Now you don't need to do this on the metro, that's just a regular metro, but if you're riding a regional train to another city, you're going to make sure that you validate your ticket. Um, another one is plan off times to visit some of the major things like Trevi Fountain. Mm. Otherwise you're not going to be able to get right up to the front of it mm -hmm. or if you're trying to get that picture for Instagram or something. Um, you're going to want to go maybe later at night mm -hmm. when there's less people mm -hmm. because uh, it can be 15, 20 people deep and just a mob scene of people. So go at an off time and you'll have a lot better chances of getting what you want. Absolutely. Another mistake is not being aware that there's pickpockets everywhere. Yes, you may think there's pickpockets, but not where you expect. Oftentimes you're going to find them um, with the tourists, so plain tourists. Make sure that you're protecting your things, make sure you've got you know, some uh, the belt that goes underneath or inside um, your pants and hide your valuables. Try not to carry them with you if you don't have to because um, they are relentless, especially because there's so many crowded areas, you're going to be really close in proximity with a lot of people, whether you want to or not. Like on, you know, on the trains, like we said, at the Vatican, at the Colosseum, if you go during the daytime, everything is so crowded and so full of people that they're right there next to you. So it's very difficult to avoid being close to people, which means that's the best opportunity for pickpockets to work because you're already bumping into people and you're not thinking about the fact that you're running into people. So be very, very aware that they're there and they're with all of the tourists because that's the best place for them. And uh, another thing is to make sure that you take advantage of all the free things to mm -hmm. do in a city. There are a lot of free things in Rome. A lot. Look those up. Make sure that you take advantage of those because you don't want to miss out um, on some of the amazing viewpoints, mm -hmm. public spaces and parks and just places to mm -hmm. hang out, like the Spanish Steps. You can go visit those mm -hmm. and just uh, have a good time walking around mm -hmm. and uh, enjoying what the city has to offer. Yeah, Rome has got so much to offer. It's a beautiful city. We really enjoyed our time there. And we hope that these tips will help you to not make um, these mistakes and to enjoy your time in Rome even more. We hope you enjoyed it. Like, comment, and make sure to always subscribe to our channel, share it with your friends, and we'll catch you on the next video. Happy travels.